This is how to score free kicks in FC24, the easy edition. In my opinion, this is the easiest it has been to score free kicks in Ultimate Team for a long while. Using this method, we're sure you will be able to start converting set pieces into goals. And the best part is you don't actually need the dead ball playstyle, but I will say it definitely can help. During this video, we're going to show different scenarios with both left and right footed players. We're also going to shoot the free kicks with players who do and don't have that dead ball playstyle just to show you the difference. The moments game mode this year is incredibly useful for set piece practice so we're going to start there. For the first example we have left footed Angel Di Maria just on the edge of the box and we're going to move the care set just to the left of the far wall defender literally just a touch to the left of him and then we're going to look to power up three and a half bars of power. Now I mentioned at the start of this video that this is the easy free kick method and the reason it's easy is because all you've pretty much got to do is move the left stick and time that power correctly there is no movement on the right stick at all and just to show that this wasn't a one-off here is a pretty much identical free kick to the previous one but was using the exact same method and having the exact same output for the next example, we are a bit further out, but we're still going to have the same outcome. Once again, the same method, just to the left of the furthest defender, and we whip that ball right around the wall into the back of the net. So just again, using the left stick to guide the guideline just to the left of the far defender, and then we'll power up to about three and a half bars of power, and it is going to fly into the back of the net, giving the goalkeeper no chance. And again, just to show this wasn't a fluke, we will recreate the exact same free kick again. Once again, just to the edge of the far defender, and this time we ping it into the back of the net a bit lower, but the outcome is still the same. Now you might just think maybe that angle favours lefties, well why don't we do it with a right footer then? As you can see Angelina here just pings it into the back of the net, once again using that same exact tactic, using the left stick to guide the ball just past the furthest player on the wall and then again three and a half bars of power finds the back of the net. Let's keep rolling, we've got more angles, this time much tighter on the left, but once more we will just guide it just past that far defender and we will ping the ball into the back of the net. Admittedly, it's a bit tougher with the right footers from this side, but as you can see, it's still very, very possible. But if you have a left footer in your team, you're definitely going to want to favour them on that side. For these next two clips, we are taking set pieces straight down the middle, and as you can see, the wall was no match for Di Maria there. Even if it jumped, the ball wouldn't have come anywhere near close. He has whipped it straight around the wall into that top corner, and as long as no player is marking that corner, this is such an easy goal to score. And like we've done previously, we've already done it with a left footer, so let's now do it with the right footer. Angelina, same method again, just to the edge of the wall, right footed strike, pings it into the corner for a much easier free kick goal. Like in this scenario, the right footer is definitely the best one, but it is very possible with either footed player and the beauty of this free kick method like i've said numerous times now is you don't actually need the set piece play style although like i previously mentioned it definitely can help So with that in mind, let me show you the set piece playstyle in action. Here we have James Madison, who obviously has that playstyle plus, which just helps so much. Look at the ball, look at the way it swerves, look at the power you get behind these. And it's the exact same method, but the whip on the ball is just sensational, and it definitely has an impact, as you can see with the ball just flying in constantly past the goalkeepers in these examples. Now, the method we've actually shown in this video today, I actually found it easier to learn with a player who doesn't have this play style because the guideline is much shorter. But as long as you use it often and get used to it, you'll know exactly where to place that guideline. And as you've all learned in this video, just to the edge of that player in the wall and then three and a half bars of power does the trick most of the time. 
Now this isn't the only way to convert from free kicks, but this is by far the easiest and simplest way to put them in the back of the net. But if you want to see some more in-depth free kick tutorials with other methods, make sure you leave a like rating on the video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to be active in the comments too. And of course, there is a full guide to taking free kicks on our website, so be sure to check that out as well.